Uh, my name is Arthur, and I'm from Silicon Valley uh, in California from the United States of America. I'm here uh, in Cyprus because I decided to have um, the surgery to repair a degenerated disc in my cervical spine, C5, C6. I feel as though I've been suffering with this problem for up to eight years. Um, but most recently, the last couple of years have been very difficult. Uh, you know, bouts with pain, um, you know, right arm pain, radiating pain from the neck down into the right arm uh, has increased in intensity and severity over the last couple of years. Um, most recently, uh, in the last six months, I've had a couple of really bad episodes with, with, with pain that actually caused me to at one time pass out. I found out about Amos through um, actually like a referral from my primary care physician to uh, Dr. Jeffrey Coe uh, at Silicon, Va Silicon Valley Spine Institute in California. Dr. Jeffrey Coe and I talked about a range of options um, once we had looked at my MRI. Uh, you know, he advised me that I was, ex I was very much a candidate for surgery and one of the options was to come uh, to Amos here in Cyprus and to have the technique uh, performed here using leading technology in a world-class facility. When I actually uh, made contact with Amos, the very next day I already had responses waiting from them um, and from there everything flowed so quickly. My responses to their questions and their questions coming to me, it was super fast communication answered within the same day unless there was something that we, either party, myself or Amos, had to wait for to come through. So in terms of responsiveness and uh, quality of communications, it was excellent. As soon as I landed, it was almost like a VIP service. You know, uh, folks were waiting for me, uh, name and hand at the airport, as they were as well for my fiance and my father. Um, and everything was very efficient in terms of transfers to the airport and uh, back to hotels and everything else. So that part was, was excellent. As far as um, the facilities, Amos itself, the hospital, uh, it's a fantastic facility. I, I've been to hospitals for other reasons, uh, mostly to visit family members in the U.S. and in other countries. Uh, this hospital was, uh, the impression that I got as soon as I entered was uh, state of the art. Um, elegant, clean. The cleanliness was what stood out to me the most. It was just, it was, it was never, there was never a spot that I felt was dirty. Um, you know, you saw people cleaning constantly. Everything was organized. Um, a beautiful facility. And I was very happy there. Um, that helped put me at ease, you know, knowing that I was traveling across the world uh, to have surgery performed here outside of my home country. And that was as you can imagine, before seeing the facility itself, uh, nerve-wracking, not actually being able to see it in person. Uh, as soon as I walked in, it was like everything that you see on the pictures or the descriptions that you see on the Amos website. Place is a really great hospital. I wish we had something like that at home where um, that I could access. So as far as the surgery, uh, before the surgery, I was terrified. Um, you know, it's it, thinking about operating on your spine, um, you know, as much as you um, try to keep calm and carry on uh, was hard to do. Uh, it was hard to prepare for this, uh, but I did my best. I, you know, worked out. Um, I changed my diet completely, completely in advance of the surgery uh, and prepared myself both mentally and physically as a result of that. Um, you know, after getting to the hospital and seeing the hospital, as I mentioned before, the uh, hospital was fantastic, that helped to really put me at ease. Seeing everybody come together um, also helped to put me at ease. I was actually so nervous in the days leading up to the surgery that I thought, you know, I'm going to talk to the anesthesiologist and ask for something like a sedative. Um, you know, after seeing the hospital and getting ready and, and doing the pre-work, the day that I got there for surgery, I actually didn't need a sedative. I was totally calm and totally ready to go. I felt great about it. Um, surgery was super smooth. Everything from getting into the operating bed, wheeling down to the operation room, going in, 
being in a nice, cool, organized uh, operation room with music playing and going under, it's just totally smooth. After surgery, waking up, um, apparently I was joking around and smiling and even laughing um, that the surgery had gone so well, uh, thankfully. Uh, you know, it was, it was really smooth. It was just uh, everything from the pre-work uh, to going under and then coming out of the surgery it was excellent. In terms of Cyprus itself, Cyprus, uh, if you as a Westerner or, you know, from whatever country you are from, look at a map, um, if you're not from this region, uh, I think you immediately think of uh, fear or trouble or uh, an area that may not be safe. Um, it's completely the opposite. Uh, first of all, Cyprus is surrounded by water, so that was one consolation. I was extremely nervous coming over here, just looking at a map. Um, getting here, it took a day for that to wear off because I got here in the dark and then spent the night and the, the day after we didn't really do much. But as soon as we started to explore, um, go out to eat, um, go shopping, walk around, tour, um, you know, archaeological sites, I mean, it just felt like we were in any other comfortable place on this earth. Um, you know, we, again, looking at a map, you'll probably think of the news headlines that we see so much of today and the proximity of Cyprus to the Middle East. It, it feels like you're in Greece, Italy, or um, someplace tropical and warm in South America. Um, so, you know, in hindsight, looking at my experiences and, and the places that I've traveled, which I've traveled all over the world, this, uh, this island, this place, this country, is wonderful and it's very safe and I've really not felt any fear. So uh, to bring it all together in terms of my experience and my decision and coming here is very simple. Um, I, I, I really used a almost a process of deductive reasoning and I thought about okay if I have the surgery performed here or in the US what are the differences? So the difference is one out here because the technology and the facility uh, from what I read and what I trusted in are better. Uh, I was able to choose my own custom tailored solution um, and go for it. Um, my American doctor who is waiting for me and back in the US to, to do post-op, um, I'll be able to see him. So it's really the best of both of, of all worlds. Um, and you know, I would make this decision again. I definitely would make it this decision again just because of the simplicity, the efficiency, uh, the facility itself and the fact that my doctor could operate on me here and then I could go home and I could see my doctor until I don't need him anymore and I hope that that will be soon. So um, I would definitely recommend if you're, if you're looking into um, a solution like this, like the one that I choose, that you explore it and all you need to do is start up a conversation with the folks at Amos, uh, Mariana Fortoma um, and you know the other staff like Nikos, uh, they're very helpful and they can help to answer any question rapidly for you.